To set up network-based call recording, the first thing I'm going to do is create a SIP trunk to the media capture server. In this example, I'm going to use Cisco MediaSense. So I need to set up a SIP trunk that will allow Unified Communications Manager, UCM, to connect to the MediaSense server. This can be just a basic SIP trunk. And I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom to configure the IP address of the MediaSense server. I'll use a non-secure SIP trunk profile and the standard SIP profile. The next thing I'm going to do is create a trunk to the PSTN gateway. This is also going to be SIP. the IP address of the gateway, a standard non-secure SIP trunk, and standard SIP profile. Under recording information, I need to select this trunk connects to a recording enabled gateway. The next thing I'm going to create is a route pattern it's going to point to the Cisco or to the SIP MediaSense server. I want to reset these trunks first. This route pattern is going to be used by the recording profile. So I'm going to choose any number that's not in use. I'm going to lock up the route pattern with the partition so that only the recording profile will have access. And I'm going to point this to the MediaSense SIP trunk. The next step is to create the recording profile. This is going to be used by the agent's directory number. I'm going to give the recording profile permission to use to access the route pattern and I'm going to use the route pattern as the recording destination address. Now I'm going to go to the agent's phone and configure the directory number to enable call recording. Towards the bottom under the line configuration, I have the option to set call recording. First I'm going to associate the profile and then under recording option I have two choices. I can choose automatic call recording which will record all calls to and from this line or selective. If I choose selective then I have to create a soft key template with the recording option. This gives the agent the ability to start and stop recording. For this example I'm going to use automatic call recording. The recording media source is set to gateway preferred which is exactly how I want it. However, I do have the option of using the phone preferred. If I did want to use the phone as the source, if, if I were able to do that, 
I would also have to turn on the built-in bridge. And that would allow the phone to essentially create a conference and send a copy of the call, the RTP streams, to the MediaSense server. So again, I could, if I wanted to use the phone as the source, I could enable the built-in bridge, but that's not what I want to do here. Now that I've set the directory number to enable call recording, I've associated the recording profile and I've chosen the gateway as the preferred source. The next step would be to configure notification tones. And that's going to be done under service parameters using the call manager service. And instead of hunting through all the options here, I'm going to pull up control F and type call recording. And that beep tells me that I need to spell recording properly. Okay, here are the call recording features, and I have two choices. One for the agent, and one for the customer. If I want to play the notification tone to either one of them, I would select true. For this example, I'm going to play the notification tone only for the agent's phone. So when a call would come in and the agent picks it up, immediately that agent would hear a tone that says, this call is being recorded. Once I save that, I have now completed Unified Communication Manager's configuration. The next step is to go to the gateway. This is the PSTN gateway that my company is using, and I need to configure it to communicate with Unified Communications Manager so that it will provide extended media forking. Here I can see um, that there should be no XMF provider registered and the extended media fork provider is what Unified Communications Manager will be once we configure that. To configure the gateway, the first thing is you need the right feature set. You need the right iOS. This is a 2900 to 2911. You could also use a 3900. Both of those are ISR2 routers. But in addition to the ISRs, ISR2s, I also need the correct iOS. And show version shows us that I'm using 15.3.3 mTrain. And this is the version I needed in order to configure the gateway as an extended media fork, basically to be able to be the source and send calls to the MediaSense server. Once I have this iOS in place, then it's just a matter of configuring it. So to set it up, I am going to type these commands. I thought I would give you an opportunity to do a pause if you wanted to record these commands yourself. The source address is going to be the gateway. This is the address that I am binding my SIP messages to. And this address here is the Unified Communications Manager. So I can paste these in or type them in. So let me set those up. IPHTTP server is going to allow the gateway to, to communicate via HTTP. And then I'm going to need to set up the max connections. I think I just looked at that. 
There we go. And we have the option here of how many concurrent sessions we will allow. I'm going to choose 100. Once this is done, I'm going to go into the unified communication feature, the feature set, UC configuration mode. And to do that, I'm going to now specify the source address of the gateway. And the Unified Communication Manager as the XMF provider. The remote URL is how I configure the gateway with the HTTP address, the URL that points to Unified Communications Manager. port number and directory. And now that I've done this, I want to make sure, let's verify that UCM has registered. And we see here that it has. This is the UCM address, and this is the address of the gateway. And now that we've done this, we are all set to start recording calls. And I see here that there's no RTP streams being forked by the gateway yet because there's no calls generated. So let's make a phone call. What I've got is another phone that's going to call the agent. This is the agent's phone. And I'm going to call this phone through this gateway. And what should happen is when I pick up the line, I should hear a notification beep on the agent's phone letting me know that the call is being recorded. And then I should see that both of those sessions, source and destination audio stream, are being forked by the gateway and sent to the media, the media sent server. So let's test it out. And pick it up, you should hear a tone. That tone notified us that the call is being recorded. I'm going to take it off hold and then do a show call media forking and we should see both streams being forked by the gateway. And that's exactly what we see. The both streams, ports, and IP address this is the media sent server and so we see that both sessions are being forked to the server so this was an example of how to set up network-based call recording using unified communications manager version 10 and i hope you found this video useful